गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी सो दिस इज डॉक्टर रॉय सेंचन रॉय आई एम ए सीनियर कंसल्टेंट इन इंटरनल मेडिसिन प्रैक्टिसिंग इन नेशनल हार्ट इंस्टीट्यूट एंड अपोलो रॉयल क्रेडल एंड आई हैव माई क्लिनिक माई ओन प्राइवेट क्लिनिक इन हेल्थ फर्स्ट वेलनेस सेंटर इन सी आर पार्क सो टूडे टूडे इवनिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ए वेरी कॉमनली ऑपरिंग डिजीज कॉल कम्युनिटी एक्वायर्ड निमोनिया Now, community-acquired pneumonia, as defined, is basically a uh, infection of the lung of the uh, the uh, the lung parenchyma, which is associated with uh, radiological and clinical signs, suggestive of acute infection. Community-acquired pneumonia occurs uh, uh, patients who have who come from the community who are not hospitalized or have not been in a a uh, long term uh, healthcare facility and it is uh, it is one of the commonest disease which uh, has a very high global burden and leads to a significant amount of mortality among all the respiratory tract infections in india most of the common uh, organisms that cause community acquired pneumonia are streptococcus pneumonia haemophilus influenza and uh, uh, other few infections but commonly what has been seen lately is that there are a lot of atypical organisms and gram negative bacteria which is increasingly incre- increasing in incidence so this atypical organisms generally tend to affect the elderly population and the gram negative bacteria are the um, are the uh, organisms which tend to affect the immunocompromised and the elderly people and they are one of the leading causes of mortality in uh, critically ill patients community acquired pneumonia has been um, uh, has been prevalent for a very long time and has been well discussed and there are a lot of criteria and uh, there are uh, uh, scoring which assesses the severity of the community acquired pneumonia and categorizes it as mild intermediate and high risk based on this scoring of severity they can be uh, it can be decided as to whether the treatment can be done on a outpatient basis or the treatment needs a hospitalized setting and sometimes even an icu setting the most common uh, antibiotics that are uh, required is usually a macrolide uh, antibiotic or a respiratory fluoroquinolone now on a outpatient basis for a normal healthy uh, adult a respiratory fluoroquinolone or a macrolide antibiotic is the recommended antibiotic but for patients who are hospitalized in a non icu setting increasingly a combination therapy of beta lactam antibiotic and a fluoroquinolone or a macrolide has been used for patients who uh, who are uh, who have a underlying lung disease or who have certain risk factors associated with them and who are in the icu the combination therapy uh, along with uh, um, uh, fluoroquinolone and macrolide has been increasingly used now along with the use of gram uh, the increased incidence of gram negative bacteria this uh, antibiotic regimes have also changed when uh, mrsa or uh, st- staphylococcal infection is a predominant organism then a vancomycin or a linezolid is added to this combination of antibiotics so as such community acquired pneumonia all the benign in nature but has been increasingly changing its uh, uh, prevalence over a period of time and is on most imp- uh, a important reason for causing the highest amount of mortality among all respiratory infections in our country thank you